friends, this is my October 2022 reset with me. So spoiler alert, a lot of this stuff did not get done. I had an explanation as to why I did not have a Saturday video for you guys, and that Saturday was the 24th of September. And the reason why is because I have been dealing with some health issues, which I have alluded to in the past. And one of them is my kidney stone that I'm still trying to pass. If you guys are seeing this video, I hope maybe I passed it by then, but I don't know. So that was why a lot of this stuff didn't get done because some days I just really didn't feel up to it. And I was just trying to make sure I got videos out and was still making content for you guys. So a lot of this stuff did not get done. And there were also days I did take off work <laughs> because I was sick and ill or just in pain. So, you know, I, all aspects of my life did suffer a little bit this month as far as trying to be more productive. I don't know how October is going to look. I tried to make things a bit more easy for me because likely if I haven't passed the stone, I will be having surgery in October to get it removed. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel the week after that. So um, I'm gonna do the best I can. The other thing that makes this video very difficult is I don't know when this is gonna go up because, I mean, I'm aiming for this coming Saturday uh, because that would be the ideal date, but we are getting hit with a hurricane. So I don't know exactly where it's hitting at this point at the time of filming this. They're still make, there's still a lot of speculation. The cone of suspicion is, I, I don't know if that's what it's called, but the cone that, you know, kind of encompasses the major tracks that the spaghetti models are showing does include where I live. So as of right now, I'm not evacuating, but very likely I will be without power at least Wednesday and Thursday of this week. I don't know about Friday and Saturday. I wouldn't be surprised, especially with how they're predicting this. So without further ado, with those things in mind, let's get into September and reviewing what I did and didn't do. So this month I had four personal intentions. Um, I want to finish my sketchbook, which did not happen. And I'll explain when I do my October, you know, race, reset, when I write it all out, I'll explain my plans for that. Do three draw this in your styles. That did not happen, but there's still time. So I might do one actually when we're without power and I might do it traditionally. I'll see where things go this week. Um, so this is a maybe, but I'm definitely gonna say this was not done to finish my sketchbook. So plan and prepare for Drawtober. I did plan quite a bit. Um, you guys will see, I'm hoping to get a video up Wednesday like schedule it beforehand so it'll still go up even though I might not have power. So you'll see in that video how I really prepped for it. And by Wednesday, I mean the video will be out hopefully before this video. If not, then this video will be delayed even further. Do a painting using a reference photo from Aruba. We kind of started that. You, if you didn't see my video, I'll pop it up above. But basically I did go over my plan of attack for that painting because it is gonna be my first major painting. I'm still not sure how I wanna do this just because oil is not something I have any experience with and maybe this would be a good painting to start with. I am leaning towards acrylic just because I'm used to it, but we'll see. It probably won't happen for a while though, at least not till November because I'm gonna be doing Drawtober and I have some other things planned. So I'll say kind of maybe. So educational intentions, I said complete draw box, 250 box challenge that did not happen i'm just gonna put x's for the ones that did not happen as i said i just wasn't feeling it i was in pain most days so it was hard for me to kind of do this and the fun thing with a kidney stone is apparently when you're not in pain you're tired because you're tired of being in pain all the time so either i'm exhausted or i'm in pain but i'm making do complete atmospheric landscapes with gouache on domestica that did not happen either and again i'm not gonna be upset with myself about this. This is my body basically saying, whoa, like we have something going wrong here. Something's not right. And health should always come first. I'm not going to get upset with myself for not doing a lot of these. Learn about reels slash short form video content. And that did not happen. I did not create a banner for YouTube. And if you guys want me to do a video, like documenting how I planned that out and figured it out, I can totally do that if that's something you guys wanna see. I also wanna do more homework, like art homework vlogs. Once I'm feeling better, that will be happening again because I know a lot of people liked that video. I had requests for more of them actually after I explained how I created my curriculum for myself. So 
there will be more videos like that. It just won't be this coming month because I feel like October, I, again, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. So there's that. Post two times a week on Instagram. That did not happen. I didn't even post once, I think one of the weeks. So I'm gonna, you'll see how I modify that next. Uh, when I do the October reset and then post my first reel. That did not happen either and it's not going to happen. And that's fine, you know, we're starting a new quarter, we'll be okay. Now, as for a reflection as to how this month went, as I said, I'm not gonna be upset. I was dealing with health problems. I'm gonna give myself that grace. You know, I did even less than I did in September. I mean, in August, it's because of things I didn't know or foresee happening. I did have my kidney stone in August, but it wasn't bothering me much. I was even able to travel while I had it. So I didn't anticipate it bothering me this much in September, but uh, looking back, it kind of makes sense that it would because just the way anatomy works, but yeah, so I'm not gonna be upset with myself. And if you guys, you know, had a similar month to me or maybe had a better month to me, or maybe there's some things you wish you had done and you didn't, you're fine. Health sometimes just gets in the way. It just does. And life, other things in life that are more important sometimes than business, I would assume family for most of you guys is more important or friends sometimes, especially when health is involved. So part of the thing I'm learning is I have to give myself a little grace. That's basically my September and we're going going to start our October. So I have some pretty colors here. I have two different kinds of oranges, although this kind of comes out a little more yellow than I'd like, but we have a brown and we have a green. So we're gonna do some things with that. I know I promised in my last video I'd have some stationery for you guys in this, but I couldn't really find any stationery that I was really in love with. I'm tempted to make my own. Unfortunately, my sticker maker is back in New Jersey, so I'm gonna have to somehow get it down here. If you guys know of any places that, or even if you have stickers that you think I'd like to check out or to share with me, please share. I would love to in, do more than just drawing, I guess, on this. Um, because it is supposed to be, you know, a reflection of what I like and things like that. And I do want to add more stationary elements beyond just highlighters and belt tip liners. So with that being said, this is what we're working with. I'm going to get my pen out. Uh, I typed up my goals so I don't sit here wasting your time trying to figure out what the heck I want to do. But I think it'll pay off in the end. I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark. And as I'm, even as I'm recording this, I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm starting to not feel too good, but I still wanna do this, so. And the idea I had Maybe that's a little too cheesy. I think it's kind of cute. You guys tell me if you like my little pumpkin. Oh, I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit this way so I can still kind of draw that I want you guys to see. Okay, good. All right, so we'll start with. And I'll go back and probably like and decorate this more, but I just want to get the bullets down. So the first goal kind of goes with a whole sketchbook thing. I know I wanted to finish it by the end of September, but I'm acknowledging that's not going to happen. And I think to put that much of a goal on me when I've never even finished a sketchbook before is a bit too much. So I think what I want to do is I want to make sure I finish that sketchbook within the end of this quarter because then that's a half a year, six months to finish a sketchbook when I haven't even finished a sketchbook before. I think that's a pretty good goal. And then eventually maybe I can get down to just a quarter, but, or even just a third, a third would be nice too. The next goal is, if you guys haven't guessed it, might be pretty obvious, is complete Drawtober. 
And then I limited myself to three goals from personal this month, just because again, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. And I really honestly couldn't think of anything else because I know Drawtober is gonna take up a ton of my time. So for me to even just complete that makes me, will make me very happy. So I think that should count for kind of two goals because again, I've never like completed a whole month art challenge before. And I think this is a good time to start and a good challenge to start with. So we're gonna just do, and by drawings, I mean finished works. So not a sketch, all right. And then we'll move on to educational. Again, these are really just a copy. Well, one of them is just a copy from the month before. Instead of doing draw a box, I think I'm gonna focus on my beginner's guide to drawing course through New Masters Academy because I am paying for that. And if you guys don't know what New Masters Academy is, uh, I'm not sponsored by the way, it's a subscription service that basically gives you with one you know, flat price a month, access to a ton of different art courses done by professional artists that you can learn any range of subjects that within the art umbrella. So I do go into more detail about it in my draw, uh, DIY art school curriculum, that video that I talk about how I created my own curriculum based on New Masters Academies courses as well as some other resources. So I will link them down below for you guys. Uh, and I will also have that video up above and in the description box. Okay, next goal is to actually finish the do I really want to do this course on Domestica and yet I keep missing out on it. And then we have business slash social media. Friday, because I'm, I'm filming this on Sunday, the 5th, 25th of September and Friday I was in the ER. So it's just been Thursday and Friday were bad days. Wednesday into Thursday was a bad night. So I think my body is just like tired. So a lot of this is copied from September because I didn't get to do those things. I want to I do have whiteout, so we can fix it. Whiteout is our friend, people. Luckily, I'm not writing over that, so. Post once a week on Instagram. Instead of twice, because I think I should at least make that milestone first. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot to draw my... We love fat pumpkins. Who doesn't love a good fat pumpkin? So I don't know how you guys feel, I guess, about Halloween because I feel like once you get to a certain age, a lot of people are like, oh, you're too old and stuff. But like, I don't know, I've always liked getting dressed up and even like, even though I'm 25, I, I like doing that. So I'm still, I mean, I have a half sibling who's three. So I think this year he might get a little bit more into it, which is kind of exciting. I still want to dress up. I'm hoping I'm feeling a bit better then, but um, again, I can't predict the future. So, I mean, I'm not going to really buy an outfit. I'll probably just throw something together with what I have and maybe buy an accessory if I have to, but we'll see. I don't know. Cause last year when I was living in New Jersey, we had a Halloween party and it was a lot of fun. So I would like to at least somewhat celebrate it beyond you know working the whole day because 
that's actually kind of what my plan is now, right now, and I don't want it to be my only plan, because it would be nice to actually do something, you know, we'll see. But you guys should tell me what you guys are doing for Halloween, especially if it's something fun. I'd love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be so happy if you gave it a like, because it lets me know that you like these kinds of videos. And if you could also consider subscribing to my channel and ring that little bell, and you'll always know when I'm posting a video, which normally scheduled programming is every Wednesday and Saturday, but you know, hurricanes tend to mess that up and so does health problems. So occasionally you might have something like that, but hurricanes hopefully don't happen too often once you know, you've know you kind of gotten past the hurricane season. But anyway, let me go through the intentions I set for October. We did go down two for the total, but I think, again, I, you know, I'm not too sure how my October is gonna play out and I don't wanna get too hasty. So for personal intentions, I want to get through half of my sketchbook. I want to complete Drawtober. I want to do two traditional drawings or paintings that are finished works of art outside of Drawtober. As far as educational intentions go, I want to complete two lessons of the Beginner's Guide to Drawing course on New Masters Academy because I'm actually paying for that and Drawbox is free right now. So, I mean, not that I know in the future if they're going to change that, but it's free. And then I also want to complete Atmospheric Landscape with wash on Domestica. As far as business and social media intentions go, I want to learn about reels or short form content, post once a week on Instagram, and post my first reel. And that's it. This is October and I'm hoping to have some better reflections, I guess, in November when we go over this in that video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys have been keeping safe if you're also in the area where a hurricane has hit. I know Hurricane Fiona did a lot of damage to Canada. So if, you know, in any part of the world, whether if there's any sort of natural disaster, I know that we have a lot of social issues going on too, but just stay safe guys. You know, it's, it's important and take care of yourselves. That's it. And thanks for watching.